Hey there everybody, it is part four of the top ten trading mistakes. Today we'll be talking about mistake number four and mistake number three. Alright, mistake number four is avoidance. Now what I mean by that is um, uh, a lot of training people are have a very specific goal in mind. They're trying to either bulk up, they're trying to get uh, more thin, more uh, cardiovascularly ugh, fit. But uh, when you're doing so, sometimes people tend to neglect some very important body parts. Uh, some of those being, um, let's see, your abs. Some people avoid abs, they avoid calves, they avoid forearms, traps, and lower back. These are the top muscle groups that are usually cut out on. Uh, people who are trying to bulk up usually don't even do cardio. It's another thing that people avoid. So you do this, you're going to be shortchanging yourself, you're going to be missing out on some very important stuff. If you're going for fitness, obviously, you want to have everything be equal, right? You don't want something to be uneven with something else. It's just not going to look right, you're going to lose strength, everything's connected one way or another. You know, you know guys know the song, you know, this, that, that, connected, whatever. There's a reason for that. Everything's uh, balance with each other. I'm sure you may have seen uh, a lot of people at the gym, they have huge upper body, but little pencil legs. Uh, that's not good, because they're going to topple over, their low back's going to be doing all the work, trying to hold that upper body up, and their legs can't even balance them. So it's all about balance, it's all about looking good, equal strength throughout. So, to fix this, you're going to want to sweat the small stuff you got to make time in your sessions to work these body parts. Um, another uh, good thing about that, though, if you uh, really want, uh, abs and calves can be trained more frequently than other body parts because they take uh, longer to uh, get into shape. Calves, because there's very thick uh, fascia, it's the big sheath that's over the muscle, uh, it's really strong. So I can prevent the muscle from growing. The reason it's strong is because you know the Achilles tendon is attached to that, and you sure as shit don't want that thing to be weak. So even if it's just uh, a little bit a day, try to work in calves, abs, maybe other, uh, every other day. Like I said before in another video, don't want them too close together. You can overtrain them. But that's one thing you want. You know, if you're worried about doing them, just you know, every other day, throw in some abs and calves workout. Like if you're doing your arms, hey. Do your whole arms, you know what I mean? Which brings me to the next point, is that you want to give every body part its own routine. Say it's your leg day. Don't go in with, this is my leg workout. Split it up. Okay, here are my quad workouts, here are my hamstring workouts, and hey, let's throw in calf workouts. Workouts. That way you know you're hitting every part of the leg. You know, missing anything out. Oh, and uh, cardio. Don't... Go if you're trying to bulk up, and cardio is you know, not that important to you. Don't look at it as like, well, if I have some time, maybe I'll get a little run in or whatever. No, you got to hit cardio. Cardio is important for overall health. Even if you're trying to bulk up, cardio helps with recovery time. It gets that blood flowing. It's getting all that oxygen moving to your muscles. You just lift heavy and go, oh, man, that was oh, so hard. And lay down. You're not moving that blood, you're not getting that oxygen to that muscle. That lactic acid is going to build up. That's why the next day you can't get up. You can't get out of bed because ah, you're locked up. Hit cardio. Gets that blood moving. Gets that oxygen to the muscles. Don't worry, it's not going to thin you out. The only way, if you're going for a bulking program and you're afraid you're going to get lean, is if you're doing a cardio session as intense as your bodybuilding session or more. Like You're doing some intense cardio. It's the only way. It's going to prevent you from doing it. Don't worry. You go for like a 20-minute run just to get your heart rate up. It's not going to be a problem. So yeah, alright. Mistakes number three. Mistake number three. I'm adding SS to everything today. That's missing the target. What I mean by that... Yeah, sorry, i got to move the camera. What I say by missing the target is you need to know your anatomy. Like for triceps, you think you go to the gym, alright, I'm going to do this tricep exercise and this tricep exercise. Well, it's not all the same. If you're just doing two tricep exercises that look good, you could be hitting just one part of your triceps. And it's called triceps because it's 
It's three heads of the tricep. You know your anatomy. Say you're just doing uh, pull downs and push downs, you're going to be hitting the outer head. You're going to be hitting the outer head of the triceps. You might not be hitting the inner head and the middle head. So if you're going for size, you're going, you want overall strength, you're doing a bodybuilding thing, obviously each muscle has to be looking great. Make sure you're doing exercises that hit those specific muscles. Sometimes it's not even that uh, different than what you're doing. It's just an angle thing or just the way you're holding uh, rope or the cable or the weight. It's just, it's usually something that simple. So, uh, when you're at the gym and you think you're doing something for a certain part of your muscle group, double check, uh, do some research into it, you know, ask around, hey, ask me. Um, as I know some people, I actually experienced it the other day, some people think that there's really no difference in the way you're doing an exercise curl. They think, oh, well, you're doing a bicep curl, no matter which way you're doing it, you're standing, you're sitting, you're leaning back in a chair, incline, using a barbell, it's just working. It's all the same thing. So I had somebody come to me and go, I see you're doing um, bicep curls, on the uh, inclined bench, like, what's what's the difference? So I explain it, like, well, this is for really getting the nice length and shape of the bicep, because you're at the angle, when you come down, you're getting a really great stretch, and you come up, ah, you're in a really good contraction, as opposed to someone who's just doing a barbell, standing barbell curl, and yeah, you're not really going to get the stretch, you need your legs in the way, and some people only do, like, three quarters of the way, and they come up, trying to get that nice big uh, bulk to it. So there are big differences in what you're doing and what exercise you're doing for it. So again, uh, make sure that when you're at the gym you are training uh, each part of the muscle group because like you say, you know, triceps, that's three heads, it's not just one big muscle. So make sure you're getting an exercise in that trains each individual part. Um, yeah, alright, so remember that. Uh, each individual part, don't cut out muscle groups Practice it, of course. Obviously, you're learning a new exercise. Always practice it. All right, that'll be it for today. Remember, stop sitting around dreaming. Get up and doing. I'll see you guys next time.